The announcement by RBS uh, about relocating its headquarters uh, to England in the event of a yes vote is not exactly a bombshell. It's confirming basically what everybody knew throughout the campaign. Um, and one thing uh, it's worth pointing out, and the company is at, pay, is at pains to stress, is it wouldn't have an implication for customers, uh, and broadly speaking, not for jobs either. But clearly for Scotland's prestige and status, uh, it would be massively important. This is the headquarters uh, of RBS in uh, St Andrew Square in Edinburgh. You can see that massive great plaque there, Royal Bank of Scotland, incorporated by Royal Charter AD 1727. So uh, Royal Bank of Scotland, headquartered in England, would not have the same resonance or, or ring to it uh, by any means uh, and so clearly this could be this would be uh, damaging I think two points I would just quickly make one is that those economic arguments like that haven't really seemed to make the sort of impact uh, throughout the campaign that people assumed they might do uh, so it's hard to say whether they will now with uh, just a week to go and another thing businesses, generally speaking, have tried to keep out of this highly politicised environment. They haven't really wanted to get involved and now they're all piling in and making their situation crystal clear. They can hardly accuse the politicians of doing too little too late uh, when they are leaving it to the last minute as well.